The financial industry is evolving, facing intense pressure from the demanding customers to offer more convenient services at the same time ensuring they maintain regulatory compliance while reducing security risk. As the industry con continues to take advantage of the digital innovations, the reality of security threats to them and to their customer becomes more real every day. Since many banking institutions maintain a blend of legacy and cutting-edge technologies, this combined with the drive towards digital innovation increases their cyber security risk. In the information-based banking environment, banking professionals who are technically competent in information system and who understand the security, control and banking operations are in great demand for IS audit careers. For such IT professionals, the Indian Institute of Banking and Finance has introduced a diploma course in information system audit. A candidate who clears the following certificate examination is awarded with a DISA certificate. Certificate examination in IT security, certificate examination in prevention of cyber crimes and fraud management, and certificate examination in information system banker. The certificate courses aim to the IT security course aims to develop functional expertise in the areas of system identification, development, implementation and designing and it also aims to develop expertise in computer security, implementation of threat, prevention and detection systems, designing and testing risk mitigation strategy. The certificate course on prevention of cyber crimes and fraud management aim to make the bankers familiar with different types of cyber crimes perpetrated across the globe and acquire necessary knowledge and skill to prevent the occurrence of such crimes in organization. The certificate course on information system banker aims to make the bank employees aware of the IT security requirements and proper implementation thereof for protecting organizational interest. About the book, the dedicated courseware on IT security published by IIBF follows a modular approach. Module A is on IT security overview. Module B covers IT security controls. Module C covers IT security threats. And Module D is on IS audit and regulatory compliance. The dedicated courseware on prevention of cyber crimes and fraud management also follows a modular approach. Module A is on cyber crimes overview. Module B is on fraud management, Module C is on electronic transactions, and Module D is on cyber laws and regulatory compliance. Now, talking about the dedicated courseware on information system banker, it also has a modular approach. Module 1 is on technology in banks, Module 2 is on technology, system development process and implementation, Module 3 covers community of business, Module 4 covers overview of legal framework. Module 5 is on standard and control standard in banking. Module 6 is on securities, policies, procedure and controls. Module 7 is on information security and IS audit. Now talking about the eligibility for the certificate courses, all the three courses are available both for members and non-members of the institute. However, every candidate must have at least passed the 12th standard examination in any discipline or equivalent. The examination fees for the members for the first attempt is Rs. 1100 and for subsequent each attempt it is the same Rs. 1100. Whereas for the non-members the first attempt fees is Rs. 1600 and even for subsequent each attempt the fees is Rs. 1600. Talking about the pattern of examination, in case of certificate examination in prevention of cyber crimes and fraud management and certificate examination of information system banker, there are 120 objective type multiple choice questions for 100 marks. The examination is held in remote proctored mode only. Whereas for the certificate examination in IT security, there are 100 objective type multiple choice questions for 100 marks. The examination is held only in online mode. There are no negative marking for any of these examinations for their wrong answers. 
talking about the passing criteria for certificate examination in prevention of cyber crimes and fraud management and certificate examination of information system banker the minimum marks for passing is 60 out of 100 however for certificate examination in IT security, the candidate needs to score a minimum of 50 out of 100. The medium of examination remains the same for all the three certificate courses, that is English. Periodicity of these examinations is that the examinations are conducted on pre-announced dates published on IIBF website. The institute conducts the examination on second and fourth Saturday and on all Sundays. However, the periodicity of examination may be changed depending upon the requirement of the banking industry. The duration of the examination for all the three certificate courses is two hours. The institute also facilitates e-learning to enhance the understanding of the con concepts. Candidates can access the e-learning from their desktops and laptops at their convenience and from their place of choice. Presently, the institute is providing the e-learning facility only for certificate examination in ICT security and certificate examination in prevention of cyber crimes and fraud management. For more details on the course offered by IIBF, please visit the website www.iibf.org.in. Thank you.